Are you worried about the amount of screen time your baby is getting? Don't worry, you're not alone. But what does the research really say about the effects of screens on babies and young children? Hi there and welcome to Yardy Baby. If you're looking for a channel that features baby-related tips every day, then make sure to subscribe. It's hard to avoid screens these days, especially when it comes to entertaining our little ones. But as a parent, it's natural to have concerns about the impact of screens on our baby's development. In this video, we'll explore the truth about screen time and babies, and provide some practical tips on how to balance screen time with other activities. Many parents worry that screens will harm their baby's brain development or lead to developmental delays. However, research has shown that while screens should not be a baby's primary source of stimulation, they can actually have some educational benefits when used in moderation. In fact, a recent study found that when used appropriately, educational apps can enhance a child's vocabulary and numeracy skills. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends limiting screen time for children under 18 months to none at all, and for children 18 to 24 months, limited to high-quality programming with a parent present. For children 2 to 5 years old, the recommendation is for a maximum of one hour of screen time per day. These guidelines are based on the fact that young children learn best through hands-on, interactive play, and that excessive screen time can interfere with their development. It's important to remember that screens should not be a replacement for real-world play and interactions with caregivers, which are crucial for a child's development. Face-to-face -face interactions, physical play, and exploration of the environment are essential for brain development and learning. Children need opportunities to experiment, make mistakes, and learn through trial and error. However, it's also important to recognize that screens are a part of our modern world and can have a role in a child's life. They can be a useful tool for education and entertainment, and can even help parents get some much-needed rest or a break. The key is to strike a balance and make sure that screens are not the main source of stimulation for young children. So, what can you do to strike a balance? Here are some tips. Offer a variety of age-appropriate activities and toys that encourage exploration and discovery. This can include art materials, musical instruments, blocks, puzzles, and more. Encourage your child to use their imagination and creativity, and give them the time and space to play and learn on their own. Set screen-free times, such as during meals or before bedtime. This can help establish a routine and give children the opportunity to engage in other activities. Meal times are a great opportunity for family bonding and conversation, and screens can be a distraction. Similarly, screens can interfere with sleep, so it's important to set aside screen-free time before bed. When using screens, choose high-quality programming and educational apps. Look for content that is age-appropriate and aligns with your child's interests and developmental level. There are many great educational apps and websites that can help your child learn new skills and concepts, such as ABC Mouse, Khan Academy Kids, and PBS Kids. It's also a good idea to watch or play along with your child, as this can help promote learning and interaction. Set limits on screen time and stick to them. This can help ensure that screens are not overused and that children have plenty of time for other activities. You can use a timer or an app to help manage screen time. It's also a good idea to have a designated screen-free area in your home, such as a playroom or family room, where screens are not allowed. Use screen time as an opportunity to teach media literacy skills. This can include teaching children how to evaluate the credibility of a website, how to identify age-appropriate content, and how to use screens responsibly. It's important to teach children how to be savvy media consumers and to think critically about the information they encounter online. It's also important to consider the content of the screens your child is viewing. While educational programming can have benefits, it's important to be aware of the potential for ads and inappropriate content. Consider using parental controls or installing a content filter to help protect your child from inappropriate material. You can also choose programming that aligns with your family's values and avoids inappropriate themes or language. Finally, it's important to model good screen use yourself. Children learn by example, so if you're constantly on your phone or other screens, they may follow suit. 
Make sure to set aside screen-free time for yourself as well, and show your child that there are other activities to enjoy. Read a book, take a walk, or have a family game night. Balancing screen time with other activities is important for a child's development. By following the recommendations of the American Academy of Pediatrics and using screens in moderation, you can help ensure that screens are a positive and enriching part of your child's life. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Yardy Baby for more baby related tips every day.